Oh, this is the biggest news for me and something I've been looking forward for a long bloody time. I had two pairs of these. I had a fake pair I got from some China place and then I had a real pair that unfortunately the sole uh, peeled off uh, after maybe a couple of wears. So I'm so happy that these are back because you never usually get them online on eBay and it's hard to know if they're legit or not. And sometimes when they do appear on eBay, they're usually never in my size and usually way too expensive. And that shoe is the Black Cat Jordan 4s. Yeah, which is essentially an all black Jordan 4. If you know anything about me, you'll know that my favorite shoes, I think, in the list, especially especially for Nikes, I would say my favorite shoes are, not in no order, Air Max 90, Jordan 4, and Air Force 1. Those are my, my free staple shoes. I could probably wear any one of those shoes and still feel... Uh, for the rest of my life and still feel like i'm you know i've got the source i've got the swag and i'm doing the damn thing i think the jordan 4 bread is probably you know may, maybe hands down one of the top five colorways and models of all time uh mx90 infrared is probably you know out out of this world in terms of relevance in terms of what it done to the sneaker industry and then when you look at air force one you know white on white black on black you can't go any wrong and if you want to go a bit further maybe black with white um is one of those big shoes they just can't go wrong on you know it's hard it's really hard to get uh even though they try nowadays jordan brand they really try to fuck up the jordan 4s it's really hard to get the jordan 4 colorway wrong it's hard to get a colorway wrong on the air max 90 it's hard to it's nearly impossible to get a color wrong on what i say on jordan one on the no sorry on air force one as well it's nearly impossible. It's really impossible. Especially the, how they panel it, the shape of the shoe is just perfect. And um, yeah, so news has come out that the Black Cat Jordan 4s are coming back out again. So if all you guys have been waiting for them to come back out, you are in luck. Um, they've gone back to the OG. So they've got this um, new box suede upper. Um, the only thing that I'm a bit bummed out on is that they haven't got Nike on the back. It's just a Jumpman logo, but you know, that's no big deal. It's not like a it's not like a big deal for me. It's not like I'm not going to buy them because it doesn't have a Nike solution. I'm still going to get a pair, but that would have been a perfect icing on the cake. I love the shape. I love that this pair, I'm not sure if it's because they retold them, but they look a little less banana-y shape than my other Jordans that I got. Which the last pair of Jordan 4s I might have had were the Defining Moments pack, maybe, I think. Jordan 4. I had them in a two pack. I got a cup. I had I doubled up on those. I sold them because you know, I beat them into the ground. And that's the thing with Jordans. You can wear Jordans forever, smash them to pieces, but they still have quite a bit of resale value. I think I probably got my re I probably got retail priced them, even though I wore them well. And if you know me, if you know me, you know that I actually wear my trainers. I don't look after them like uh, you know, like one of those kind of, you know, um saran wrap sneakerheads i actually wear my stuff so for people to buy them again goes to show just how much value they hold and sometimes as people also like to buy banged up jordans um upper so that they can clean them restore them i've seen on youtube and then add new, add kind of old school soles i've seen people do that as well that looks really cool but yeah um you got an in, in, in uh all upper um an all new buck upper i'd say new buck or suede probably it's suede we'll probably say that um, the lace days are like the shiny sort of plastic material. Obviously, in the back, you've got the uh, Jumpman logo. Of course, like I said, uh, Nike swoosh would have been bloody perfect, but, you know, you can't, beggars can't be choosers. The only thing that's a bit myth about this is the tongue. It looks a bit, this is, this is why it's really difficult to spot fake shoes because for the most part, the stuff that's coming out of Jordan Brand's factory, because these look like official, again, we don't know because sometimes um, uh, some of these sneaker Instagram pages can sometimes inadvertently post uh replicas of shoes that haven't been made yet and just post them up on social and people go with it and it hasn't been confirmed by their brands but sometimes the reason why it's so confusing is because the little telltale signs you'll be able to tell that this shoe is legit you can't really tell on a fake shoe like i don't know sometimes the webbing on the side right they'd say this is a telltale way to say the way it goes up and how it goes down but then the big thing that used to always be able to tell if it was a fake jordan uh, 4 was the tongue usually the the legit ones had like a really 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 smooth round tongue here at the top but look at this it's it's essentially like a like an ace of spades isn't it look how pointy it is at the top there it shouldn't be that pointy really if it's if, if it's quote unquote a legit one if you go on nike talk and you see some of the older threads from back in the day they would say there was a, the, the telltale signs of like a legit check but sometimes these factories especially even the nike ones they do sometimes have anomaly they do sometimes have errors and stuff they produce and i guess because they can't write off a whole bunch of stuff it's going to cost them a lot of money just release them anyway and then you end up with them full of mark we end up with a, with a market full of legit jordan shoes that look like they could be fake so that's the only issue i have with some of the stuff coming out nowadays but again like i said beggars can't be choosers is i'd rather pay 125 pounds 135 pounds whatever this is going to be worth uh retail wise than have to go on StockX and pay you know 700 for a pair that came out in 2004 or something. I mean, that's not worth it at all. But yeah, for so far, so good. I love it. 
completely up all black upper uh triple black you know no white bits involved at all i loved how they didn't try and um switch out the color of the bubble or do some nonsense with the lining they just re re-release an og shootout i think is one of my favorites and of course i think the white one is another favorite of people's own and i had the pair of those two that i unfortunately saw because they were a bit too big for me but again i'm a big fan of these i can't wait for them to come out um what's the article say from hype piece here one of the most um unmissed makeups during for black cat there Inspired by one of Mac Jordan's many nicknames, the pair is certainly one of the sneakers. Of the, the updated Jordan 4, predominantly embellishing a bold, bolder black makeup than its predecessor, also boasts the same construction of the original. Uh, check out the Jordan Black Cat 2020 retro. It's going to come out February 22nd on Nike.com, so definitely check that out. £190. Oof, it's a lot more money. It's what, 180 probably, I say? UK, 180 170 for Jordan 4 retail price. So yeah, it's February 22nd um cut was that week after valentine so that should be a cool little present for all of you guys and girls out there but yeah one of my favorite jordans again see the shape is a lot better man on this retro i'm not sure if they've updated the tooling on them but there's a lot more of a flatter silhouette there compared to my defining moment jordan four let me see if i can get that up and just compare it side by side jordan four bread defining moments right Defi is it the one? defining moments pack i'm pretty sure that's the one It came in a pack. What was it? What's the pack that I had? It had another Jordan in the pack involved in it. Or am I bugging out? Yeah, it's the Defining Moments pack. So this is the one I had, right? I had this. Let me see if I can get it up here. You guys can see here. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so that's the Jordan I had, right? The Defining Moments pack. So you had... So it, it was basically two Jordans that made up the number 23. So if you look at that, you zoom in a little bit. Number one, the, the tongue obviously is a little bit more smoother than the other Jordan we saw before. And you could tell even from just looking from this side, it's a weird angle to check it, but it does come up a little bit more. It's a bit more banana -y. And I'm not sure if they've got like a an insert on the other Black Cat 4s that makes them a bit flatter on the forefoot, this bit here. But you can definitely tell it's a bit more of a banana silhouette on this Jordan 4 compared to this here. It's a lot more flatter. It's a bit more of a sleeker silhouette, even from that. What's the other angle that can show a little bit? Yeah. Look, compare, see, compare that to that. They're definitely different. That's definitely more of a Bernard. Definitely comes up a bit more here. You can tell this bit right there. Definitely points up a little bit more. But yeah, I'm a fan of them, man. I can't wait to see what they look like in real life. And that's definitely a pair I'm buying without a shadow of a doubt. I'm going to put money aside for that right now and just kind of cop it straight away without even blinking. Probably end up doubling up. That's a shoe you end up doubling up on. Remember that was a big thing back in the day. You used to always double up on shoes because you never knew if Nike... Because Nike had a tendency of always dropping a retro of a shoe um first no no dropping it yeah, dropping a retro shoe first but dropping in limited quantities and not having that not basically restocking it like throughout the season so then you end up it end up kind of just selling out slowly and then by the time you end up wearing in wearing out your pair like imagine the air stab retro that i had which i still regret selling to that to this day i regret not buying another couple of pairs of them because by the time the the other models came out they weren't re retroing other they weren't retroing anymore but but as time went on they don't retro the same uh original colors anymore they'll just go for you know the paint by numbers issues back in the day or the paint by numbers iterations uh the further time goes on so if you want an og colorway of something when it comes out buy that pair and buy doubles of it because it's not going to come out again for a while unless it's a fucking safari or something you know they they drop those every two years but everything else you have to kind of struggle for like when's the last time you saw an infrared mx90 do you know what I mean? So when it comes out, buy uh, buy two if you can. So you always have one there. Like I, even a Tom Sachs um, Mars Yard that I have. Luckily, they're coming out again, but that's another shoe. Do you know what I mean? Just buy it again because you know if they bring out that model again, it's just going to be another crazy, wacky colorway that you're probably not going to be a fan of. But yeah, Black Hat Jordan 4 is coming out February 22nd, 2020. That is a big, big look, man. I'm a big fan of that shoe. I love it, love it, love it.